Today I will compare Windows 8.1 versus Tiny 1122H2 version in 2023. So I'm making this video because Tiny 11 is quite popular and in my opinion Windows 8.1 is probably the best Windows version that well optimized for older devices. Also at the end of the video I will do speed test Tiny 11 versus Windows 8.1 and you can decide for yourself which version is faster. So why I chose Windows 8.1 and Tiny 11? Simply because people trying to install this operating system on their devices to increase speed of their machines. Windows 8.1 no longer gets security updates. So that's mean it's useless? I don't think so. Windows 7 don't get updates for a long time, but users still think that this is the best version of the Windows of all time. So what's the problem to install Windows 8.1 in 2023? I mean, you just want to increase speed of your old device. So do you need updates? In my opinion, Windows 8.1 is fast because it doesn't get new updates. And that's the reason why people still use this operating system. By the way, you still can download and install original ISO file from the Microsoft official website. It's still available and that's awesome. So let's get back to Tiny11. I already made several videos about this topic, but today I will find out is Tiny 11 22H2 version, literally it is the same Windows 11 Pro, faster than old Windows 8.1? Or even Windows 8.1 is much faster than Tiny 11? Perhaps? Let's find out. In short, Windows 8.1 has nice compatibility with drivers for older devices and Tiny 11 based on original Windows 11 Pro. So if your device was released in era Windows 7 or Windows 8, it will be quite difficult to find the right drivers for your machine. Even if you found and installed the driver from the internet, it doesn't guarantee that everything will work correctly. I'm just warning you that you may have some issues and problems with drivers if you have very old device. I'm talking only about unsupported laptops and computers. But if you have a newer device, I think you will not have any problem with this. So let's get it started. So friends, let's get into it. I have a laptop Lenovo ThinkPad L430. I already installed Tiny11 on HDD drive. Laptop has 8GB of RAM, 2 cores Intel Core i3 processor of 3rd generation, as I previously said, HDD drive. And right now I'm going to turn on the stopwatch. And now you may see how long does it take to load to the system. So I will turn on the laptop and turn on the stopwatch. I want to remind you that I installed Tiny11 22H2 version. This is the latest version. 15, 16. So friends, it take 26, I will say 25 seconds to load to the system and I think it's a good result for old laptop and literally Tiny11 in this case do a great job. So friends, we are in Tiny11 and first of all, let's check if all drivers are installed. I will type device manager. My friends, as you can see, I installed all drivers for Tiny11, literally for Windows 11 Pro. And I want to remind you, if you have unsupported hardware, probably it may be difficult to find some drivers, but you need to be ready for this. So I will close this window. So let's start the first and probably the easiest test. Let's open Google Chrome browser. How long does it take to load? Click on it. One, two, three, four, five. First time I thought that it loads, but I just saw the white screen. Actually, it takes about 6 seconds to load to the Google Chrome browser. 
Okay, let's open it another time. One, two, oh, and the second time it was quite fast, about two seconds. Okay, and next that I'm going to do right now, I'm going to press Ctrl plus Alt plus Delete and I'm going to check how many RAM and CPU system using right now. In this case, I need to click on Task Manager and we finally are in the Task Manager. If we click on the performance, here you may see how many RAM and how many percent of CPU system using right now. And as you can see, tiny 1122H2 version using 2.4 GB of RAM, but sometimes it use about 3 GB of RAM. And now I will turn off the laptop, so you may see how long does it take to turn off the machine. Shut down the power and I turn on the stopwatch. And it takes 13 seconds to turn off the machine. My friends, I already installed Windows 8.1 from the Microsoft official website on the same laptop and I use the same HDD drive. And another time I will use this smartphone Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra to turn on the stopwatch and you can decide for yourself which operating system is faster. So now I'm going to turn on the laptop and you may see how long does it take to load Windows 8.1 to the system. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen seconds. My friends, that's just hilarious. It's take thirteen seconds to boot to the system. We're talking about Windows eight point one in twenty twenty three. That's just crazy. So friends, let's open Google Chrome browser for the first time. One only one second for the first time it take one second to open google chrome browser okay so it look quite fast and in my opinion it's much faster than tiny 11. now i'm going to show you that all drivers is installed and here you may see windows 8.1 pro i want to remind you this is windows from the microsoft official website it's not pirate windows so let's go to the device manager and as you can see, all drivers is installed without any problem. And I want to remind you one more time, if you have quite old laptop or computer, definitely I recommend to install this version of Windows because you can find drivers without any problem. And perhaps the last test for today, I will press Ctrl Alt Delete and we will go to the task manager. Now I'm going to show you how many RAM and how many percent of processor system use right now. We will open it in full screen to make it more convenient and click on the performance. And that's just hilarious, system using less than 1 GB of RAM. So here you may see only 0.7 GB of RAM. That's just crazy. Definitely if we're talking about better performance for all the devices, Windows 8.1 is much faster than Tiny 11, 100%. And of course I will turn off the laptop. And you may see how long does it take to turn off the machine. Power off. Shut down. Five, six, six seconds. Friends, don't mind if you see seven seconds because definitely it takes six seconds. So that's just awesome. Windows 8.1 is still one of the greatest Windows version. It well optimized for all the devices. So guys, if this video was useful for you, please like it. And if you want to know more about Tiny11, I recommend to click here on this video.